What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Got a couple of interesting duels for you guys to check out, including a very strange concoction in this first duel. You guys know that oftentimes in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can take two archetypes that are not related to each other at all and combine them with fabulous results. That's how we have Orcus in basically everything now. Some examples of this would be, I don't know, you can put Metaphos and um, like, uh, like Yang Zing together. Those two archetypes randomly work, even when they're not designed designed to this is dark magician and true draco and obviously dark magician really for the deck to kind of get rolling and do what it wants to do it needs a continuous spell and a continuous trap obviously eternal soul and dark magical circle both being searchable by rod those cards can be attributed both for true draco monsters and i guess you can also pop them for your copies of a uh, dragonic diagram or i don't know if you have one circle you can pop another one but it's interesting and we'll see exactly where this is going to go so he'll open with ride <clears throat> get illusion magic for dark magicians and uh looks like he wants to give one up dark magician does not have that much value in your hand outside of a prince illusion otherwise you can summon it just as easily from the graveyard with eternal soul which he did happen to draw and uh twin twister is going to basically get rid of all the unknown back row he does make a really smart play here so he's going to go eternal soul and what that will actually do is that'll give him the opportunity to summon dark magician on field and then when his eternal soul activates in the graveyard he can pay the cost of the rod in the graveyard and get his rod back so pay the cost dark magician is sent to the graveyard adds rod back to his hand that way he got value out of his eternal soul instead of basically just losing it for nothing he is going to get rid of that dark magical circle i thought at first he should have gotten rid of diagram problem is with getting rid of diagram he would have just summoned a ride he would have searched eternal soul assuming i mean he's not gonna like there's no way this build's only running one copy but he would have pre or presumably searched um eternal soul and then he would have had his setup so i don't know if uh, either card was ideal to get rid of i feel like he was just kind of screwed in either position i think that he's going to summon ride He's going to pop it, get his circle, and uh, he's going to search a copy of Ignis Seed. He can tribute the circle, but just not this turn. He's going to go ahead and get the get rid of the back row, which is uh, Crackdown. He had to get rid of that, otherwise his monster would have just been taken. And he's almost able to win 100 life points, but will this be the comeback? I'm going to say yes, <laughs> and easily. He's going to go ahead, he's going to summon a Karakuri from his deck. I think he can Synchro into Beret here. I think that's what he was trying to do. Go for another synchro play. Get Solemn Judgment just a turn too late because the beret is going to get shut down by impermanence. If you would have got beret off 100%, he would have been able to do 100 damage and that would have been game. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. He has to use the Solemn Judgment. Otherwise, he just would have like popped it maybe from Diagram or he would have used the effect to like draw a card. Plus, this card would have been, Disciples would have been destroyed at some point. And it's unfortunate because uh, top decking against True Draco is not a position that anybody wants to be in because if you activate any cards their monsters will activate in response he's going to go ahead and summon ignis heat and at this point duel is basically over uh the, you have to keep in mind also the true draco monsters have what battle immunity i believe uh because of the dragonic diagram plus they're getting a little bit of an attack boost as well so uh yeah true draco dark magician take the first duel down second duel is going to be gradles versus cyber dragons uh i don't know about this hand sometimes i feel like people just like go overboard with their hand traps i can understand nimbiru in the main i can even understand evenly matching the main because cyber dragons are known for for evenly matching the main but come on dude running spooky dogwood that's that's a little too much if you're in game three at an event and you about to go into time okay maybe you did, maybe then side it in but outside of that no way jose anyways he just goes cyber dragon hurts Maybe he'll go for Al Mirage, or he might even just go into Cyber Dragon Seeger. Goes for Nasher to reborn his Cyber Dragon, and looks like he's just going to battle phase. Gradle Slime Jr. is going to get Cobra. I don't know about attacking the Cobra, because that just that just allows him to, to take the Seeger, and Seeger can do damage by itself. This was Troll. He activates the Spooky Dogwood, thanking Cap. I'm about to get me all them life points. Get you baited, bro. He's going to summon a zero attack monster. What are you doing? This means that you don't gain any life points because it has zero attack and to make things even worse you actually get your life points cut in half this is um yeah this is a two iq play usually i have 200 iq uh, iq plays on this channel at least he got machine duplication to make up for it so is that trying to bail him out 
the best that he can he also gets the overflow and things are actually looking quite good for him now he will go for cyber dragon infinity he'll probably have to negate one of the gradle cards otherwise he'll get his infinity taken and um i don't know about attacking into slime jr there but honestly i don't think it matters because his opponent would have been able to ram slime jr into one of your monsters anyways he's gonna go monster reborn targeting probably the gradle cobra in the grave doesn't want that to come out but it doesn't matter because obviously he has one on field anyways dude i love gradles gradles are such an art an, an, an awesome archetype he's gonna go ahead and take infinity attacking the cyber dragon suck up the seeger and this game is basically over nimbiru obviously not going to be a card that's effective against the greater archetype because they don't do enough uh summoning he is going to summon a generator randomly from his hand for <laughs> i don't even know why like what but he summons it i don't know it's for the flex points or something he summons it regardless and he obviously is going to attack for game couple of uh bricks in this guy's hand nimbiru power bond maybe in a different matchup these cards could have done a little more work maybe not so much power bond but definitely the nimbiru but he opened in a way where maybe he should have just honestly he should have just left his field open because he locked himself out of the evenly match which is it set okay that's what i thought i'm like where did the evenly match go it has to be set on the field but regardless he ends up taking that l anyways if you guys enjoyed those short duels get a video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos